Hey everyone, welcome back to the Easy Tech Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to fully customize your Samsung Galaxy lock screen using my Samsung S25 Ultra. So these tips will work on most Samsung phones running One UI 6 or above. So whether you're on the latest model or an older Galaxy phone, there is something here for you. So we're covering everything from widgets, quick access bars, to depth and 3D wallpapers. So make sure to stick around to the end. So let's get right into it. So now the first feature is where you can add an app widget to your lock screen for your Samsung Galaxy device. So Samsung lets you add widgets directly to your lock screen. So you can go ahead and do this by going into wallpaper and style, going into wallpaper here, and here you can go ahead and add widgets. However, do note that any widget you add over here, they'll all basically appear as small icons like these. However, let's say you want to add a big widget. So say for example, you want to add a calendar view, or maybe you want to add a bigger battery widget, like the one that you see on your home screen. Then let me show you how to do this. So you can do this by going ahead and opening the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and download the following module called Lockstar. Go ahead and install this module. Once you tap on it, this will then take you to your lock screen. And now let's just say I want to add a battery widget here. So to add a battery widget, I can go ahead and tap on Lockstar, tap on App Widgets. So here I have a third party widget called Battery Guru, and I can go ahead and add my battery widget. Another example, let's go ahead and add a calendar widget. So I can go ahead and add a full calendar. I can add a birthday widget. I can add my upcoming events, or I can add my calendar and upcoming events. So I'll do that. I'll add this widget here. So as you can see, this widget has been added. I'll go ahead and expand it. So I can see more of what the widget is trying to show me. I'll put in the center here. I can go ahead and configure the transparency of it. I can go ahead and configure the background, and I can also match it with light or dark. So once I'm happy, I'll go ahead and tap on done. Now, when I go ahead and lock my screen and wake it up, you'll see that calendar widget on my lock screen. So you get instant access to info you use most like your schedule, health data without unlocking your phone. So this is a major time saver and it helps you stay organized. Now, the second feature is where you can add a favorite app bar to your lock screen. So this feature lets you add a small shortcut bar for most used apps right on your lock screen. So here you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app again. In the Good Lock app, you're going ahead and open up the Lockstar module. Tap on this. This will take you to your lock screen. Now here we'll go ahead and remove this calendar widget which we added. And from here we'll go ahead and tap on Lockstar and we'll tap on Favorite Apps. So Favorite App is basically a, a bar which contains all the favorite apps you use the most. So say for example, here I have a favorite bar set already. So I use settings, torch, do not disturb, KFC, and WhatsApp. I can go ahead and edit this and add more icons or remove icons from here. I can go ahead and align it horizontally or vertically. So I'll go ahead and leave it as horizontal. I'll go ahead and tap on done. And now, now I'll go ahead and lock the screen and unlock it. So as you can see, this is the favorite bar. I can collapse it or I can go ahead and enlarge this. From here, I can go ahead and choose any apps I like. This will ask me for my fingerprint or pin number, and then I can go ahead and open the app. So whether you're taking a quick photo or you're replying to a message, this gives you fast access to your essential apps. No more swiping, searching, or unlocking is needed. Now, the third feature which I wanna show you is how to add stickers to your lock screen. So you can add stickers or custom images to your lock screen by going to your lock screen editor. You can tap and hold on your lock screen in edit mode and you can basically select stickers. Again, in this, you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you need to have Lockstar module installed. So tap on this. Now here, you wanna go ahead and tap on Lockstar and then you're gonna tap on stickers. So now you can go ahead and choose the stickers which you want to add to your lock screen for your Samsung S25 Ultra. So here I've got a bunch of stickers which I've already created. I can go ahead and add all of these stickers here. So as you can see, I've already added one sticker. Let me go ahead and add another sticker and then I've added my second sticker. Once I'm done, I can press done. And now when I lock my screen, 
and view my screen, you'll see those stickers on my Samsung Galaxy lock screen. So this adds a personal touch to your lock screen. So whether it's for fun or functional, stickers make your phone feel more uniquely yours. Now the fourth feature which I wanna talk about is where you can change the color of your help text. So say for example, on your lock screen, if you have set a text to show up, so here I've set a name and a number to show up, you can go ahead and change the color of that text on your lock screen. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the Lock Star module. This will open up your lock screen customization, tap on lock screen, and then go ahead and tap on help text. So from here, you can go ahead and choose your colors. So I'll say for example, yellow, if you want to show help text or not. So the help text is basically swipe to unlock or face recognition text, which appears. So you can go ahead and show that in the same color as well. So once that's done, tap done. Now, when you go ahead and lock your screen and you view it, you'll see that the color has changed. So this improves visibility, especially on brighter or colorful wallpapers. It adds aesthetic consistency to your setup. So it's subtle, but impactful change. Now, the fifth feature is where you can change the lock screen timeout. So you can adjust how long your lock screen stays visible before the screen turns off. So as you know, when you go into settings, display and screen timeout, whatever you set over here, this is the default for all the apps and your home screen. However, you can go ahead and give more time so that you can read notifications or stay on your lock screen. So let me show you how to do this. We'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock module. Then we'll tap on Lock Star. This will take you to your lock screen customization. Tap on Lock Star at the bottom, and then go ahead and tap on Lock Screen Timeout. Lock Screen Timeout, so the maximum value of screen timeout of the lock screen is restricted by the display settings. So you can change the maximum value of screen timeout in this setting here. You can go ahead and leave it as default, or you can go ahead and set it at 10 minutes. So the lock screen timeout itself is set to six seconds in regular mode and three seconds in power saving mode. However, with the lock screen timeout, you can go ahead and set it to 10 minutes. So you can basically set it for a longer period of time. So this gives you more time to read notification, check widgets, or enjoy your custom wallpaper. It's perfect for people who just use interactive lock screen quite often. Now the sixth feature is where you can change your lock screen icon over here at the top to something else. The Samsung Good Lock app, specifically the lock star module, which we've been using throughout the video, allows you to customize the lock icon. So here we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, we'll go ahead and open up the lock star module. Now in the lock star module, we'll tap on lock star and we'll tap on lock icons. And here we can go ahead and choose from all of these available lock icons. When you change it, it changes over here at the top. You can even choose your own custom picture from your phone library. So it lets you personalize even the tiniest details, making your phone feel fully yours. So it's great for users who appreciate attention to details and design consistency. Now the seventh feature which I wanna talk about is how to create a depth effect wallpaper for your lock screen. So this feature gives your wallpaper a layered depth effect where a subject like a person or object appears in front of the time or the widget. So you can basically choose a portrait style photo and enable the depth effect. So let me show you how to do this. So far our Samsung Galaxy phone, I wanna go ahead and choose this as our wallpaper. However, I wanna go ahead and create the depth effect on it. So let me show you how to do this. I'll go ahead and separate the foreground and the background. So foreground is the subject here, the monkey, and I have the background at the back. So in order to do that, I'll go ahead and long press on the image. This will now separate the foreground and background. Next, I'll tap on save as sticker. This will now save it as a sticker here. I'll tap done. Now next, I'll go ahead and edit this image and I wanna go ahead and remove this monkey. So I'll go ahead and draw around it. And then I'll go ahead and erase this monkey. Generate. And now that monkey has been removed, so I'll save that as, as a copy. Now I'll go ahead and set this as a wallpaper for our lock screen. Now, as you can see, we have set it as a wallpaper. Next, we'll go ahead and tap on lock star here. We already have the lock star module, tap on lock star, and then we'll go ahead and tap on stickers. So we'll go ahead and add that monkey as a sticker. So 
So as you can see, the monkey is here. Let's go ahead and enlarge this. And we'll go ahead and add it in front of the time here. Once that's done, I can press done. Now I can go ahead and look at my lock screen. And as you can see, we've created a depth effect wallpaper for our lock screen. So this gives your lock screen a magazine cover vibe. It's modern, elegant, and visually engaging. It's subtle way to impress anyone who glances at your phone. Now, finally, feature number eight is where I want to show you how you can create a 3D effect wallpaper for your Samsung S25 Ultra. So Samsung offers a motion wallpaper feature which is sometimes referred to the parallax effect. So this creates a 3D illusion by subtly shifting the wallpaper as you tilt your device. So this is something similar to iOS 26, where they offer spatial wallpaper effect. So here first we need to go ahead and choose an image. So as an image, we'll go ahead and choose this monkey image here. We'll go ahead and Take this image and we'll go ahead and create two images out of it. So we'll go ahead and first create the monkey itself only. So I'll go ahead and long press on it and save it as an image. Now next, I want to go ahead and create another image where I don't have the monkey or the subject in it. So I've already done this by using Galaxy AI and removing the monkey. I've already showed you this in the previous feature, which I was showing you. Now next, you want to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Rock app, you're going ahead and opening up the Wonderland module. Then tap on Create Your Own Moving Wallpaper. Now we'll go ahead and tap on New. And then we'll go ahead and tap on Gallery. Now we'll go ahead and choose the photo where we have no, no monkey there. Next, we'll go ahead and choose the plus sign at the bottom right, Add Image. We'll go ahead and add the monkey itself only. Now we'll go ahead and enlarge this. Now we'll go ahead and select the monkey itself then we'll tap on motion effect and we'll enable the motion effect and you can go ahead and configure this now we'll go ahead and choose the background as well and we'll make sure you enable the motion effect here as well now you can go ahead and tap on preview and now when you go ahead and move your phone left and right you have this parallax effect on your samsung galaxy home screen now to apply this to your home screen and lock screen, tap on save, go ahead and press save, and then go ahead and tap on set as wallpaper and then set it for lock and home screen wallpaper. Now press home and now it has been applied. So as you can see, whenever we move our wall phone, the wallpaper, the subject is moving on our lock screen. You'll see there's something similar as well. So this adds a sense of depth and movement, making your phone feel more interactive and alive. So it's great for anyone who wants a futuristic look and a feel on their lock screen. And that's a wrap for this easy tech tutorial on Samsung Galaxy lock screen customization. All shown on Samsung S25 Ultra, but mostly these tricks work perfectly on other Samsung Galaxy phones too. So if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please make sure to like this video, comment below with your favorite lock screen feature, subscribe to the channel for more easy Samsung and Android tips, Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.